All right, in this problem, uh, we're going to solve this problem. We're going to do it using a maneuvering board, all right? So we're going to determine the course to steer to leave an object some distance off a of beam. So uh, we're steering 180 at 15 knots. Uh, you see a light 40 degrees off your port bow at 8 nautical miles. You wish to pass 3 nautical miles of beam to port. Well, uh, what should you steer? Just so FYI, uh, we're, not ask, we're not asking for an ETA, and because of that, we don't really need the 15 knots. So this is a maneuvering board, um, and uh, first thing I want is we're going to be going south, so I'm going to reposition the camera so that uh, we can see all of the uh, bottom of it. Okay, great. That's perfect. All right, so first thing first, all right, we're going to be going 180, okay? So I'm going to indicate 180 here. All right, that's our course, 180. I'm just going to go ahead and draw the whole thing. Great. All right, 180. All right, now, there is an object, a light, that's 40 degrees off of our port bow. Well, if we're going in this direction at 180, all right, 40 degrees off our port bow is going to be over here, 10, 20, 30, 40. That's 140. But I could go 180, okay, 180 minus 40. That means that the bearing is 140. But like I said, 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay, great. So now the object is 8 miles, 40 degrees off our port bow. So I'm just going to say that this is 1 mile, 2 miles, 3 miles, 4 miles, 5 miles, 6 miles, 7 miles, 8 miles. Okay, so that object, that light, okay, I'm just going to I'll just go ahead and put that symbol there. What, anyway, whatever. Uh, it's 8 miles off of our port bow. So I can draw uh, this now. All right, and that is the leg. That is eight nautical miles. This is 40 degrees. Great. Okay, great. So now, uh, what do I need, though? I, uh, I want to pass three miles a beam to port, three miles a beam to port. So I'm going to take my dividers, and I'm going to set them to three nautical miles, and I can take that in any direction. I'm just going to take that up here. So there's three. All right, so I put that on there. And uh, there we go. All right. I just draw this little circle. I didn't need all that, but that's plenty. Okay, great. Now what I'm going to do is, is I got to figure out what course I'm going to steer. Uh, so I'm going to alter course at this point. So I'm going to find the spot that's just tangent to that three-mile radius. Okay, this is three miles. All right. So I'm going to find that spot that's just tangent to that three nautical miles. Looks to me like it's about right there. Okay. And there's our course right there. All right, so uh, this would be, you know, if I was, you know, anyway. So uh, the course we should steer is 162. 162. That's the answer. Now, if I wanted to, I could have solved this by trigonometry as well. All right. So, uh, and I could just draw a general diagram 180. Oh, uh, the thing is 40 mile, 40 degrees off my port bow. And it's eight nautical miles away. And now I want uh, I want to be about three miles off. So I draw this over here. That's three. And uh, when I'm a beam of it, I'm at a 90 degree angle. So there's my 90 degree angle. So what I have is a right triangle. And I want to know what this angle is here, theta. So here's opposite. There's hypotenuse. So sine, okay of uh, theta is opposite 3 over 8. So theta is inverse sine of 3 over 8. All right. And uh, when I do that, uh, I'm going to get that theta equals 22 degrees. OK, so I can solve this now a couple different ways. All right. Uh, this angle here is 22 degrees. So what is the angle that I should steer? What is what, what, what is the angle that I should steer from north? Well, I can do this like this. I can go, uh, my original course was 180. Then I went 40 degrees over that way. So I'm going to go minus 40. But then I went 22 degrees back plus 22. So uh, that's 140 plus, uh, and that is uh, 162. All right. And that's the same answer we got graphically. All right. That's one way I could have done it. Um, so, uh, I can do it either way, uh, and you get to choose.